don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get- Lost isn't dead. Name your radar, I will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Follow me. What's this girl to you? What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> he's a big fish in an awful small pond. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say, why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? Can I help? If we were all made from common... Oh, I heard about your little friend. Such a shame. He looks so sad. to these children. What are they? Where have you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Red means stop. Green means go. This is the rule all little girls know. Compromise? Is that why we came to Rapture? I could come. You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it.
Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? Cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <sighs> Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. <sighs> Herr Schmidt. Dr. Steinman told me Frank Fontaine. <laughs> Hello. So nice that you found us. understand something Bonjour, signore. Strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chung's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> but man name of Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. Days. Her little girl's been missing for days. I'm Taking over Fontaine's business, any different than, say, eminent domain. It's just the hand of government coming down on the end. Mr. DeWitt, I'll find my source inside of that club. Cohen, what does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Keep your hand on the chain. I don't have all the flaws and drawbacks. Are you in the know? The big 
Daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. Do you know all he does for Rapture? These metal jets are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. Best quit while you're ahead. Whatever that barber did to you, I hope he's retained a capable attorney. To what possible end? They can't both be right. If she feels so strongly about how they... The taste buds have matured. <laughs> Hello, Booker. Where have you been? <sighs> Another one. Have you got an issue with my food? Welcome to put on an apron. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. When Ryan take her over Fontaine Futuristics, sin of the terrible violence. Splicers are burning each other to bits. Lucky ones are not killed, sent to department to stop prison instead. Suchon think he dead man too. But then, Ryan comes to Suchong and says, Suchong want to be buried in filthy store, or Suchong want to make a good salary, work for Ryan. How much salary? asks Su Jong. This Ryan find very funny. Private party. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. 
Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the artist struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. <laughs> you to rapture a man really you don't strike me as the romantic type wasn't that kind of man then what there's a debt that needs repaying I've known my share of Shylocks invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted nobody's gonna just hand us one you think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around you just find the mask leave the distractions to me sir ma'am So nice that you found us. Excuse me. The lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. What is this piece? It's by Cohen Trinette. sends those masks out in some kind of box. somewhere else uh, touches us in places that we never knew existed yes can you turn it up oh it's so intoxicating it's so powerful and masculine oh yes when one feels the urge to surrender <sighs> I must go I, I must go Find another shop. Where to next, Mr. DeWitt? The Golden Rule is just across the way, or shall we go upstairs to the artist struggle? Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. 
and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products, free of criminal taint. Now you know. I see you've earned your reputation as a gambler, Mr. DeWitt. Perhaps you'd like to try earning one as a detective. All that unpleasantness with Fontaine. You see that dish I walked in with? Well, you give her the star treatment, pal. Then I'll make it worth your while. But of course, right away. Interesting, isn't it? An original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. Mm. How, How does to find that good? box? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> Nothing. Well, oh, what only one place left. Oh, I would like so much to understand. In this piece, Cohen intended to show us the struggle of the great man. Condemned to breathe the swampy air of the past. You've given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. W would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? Nothing? No. Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, oh, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18-carat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center Cobachon... Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of box. fine talk about a stolen ring. Right out of her coffin in Twilight, dude. If you think we wouldn't notice... I can assure you. The assertions of a grave robber are of no interest to me. If you hand the ring back, the matter will remain between you and me. You come into my shop and pull this trash. I don't think so. Hit the bricks, you tramp! Or I'll see to it they hit you. Get you your hands off me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Good. You've located the mask. Third time's a charm. All right, it's best we head back to Cohen's. Fine piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. I went through basic with a decent sort. So, what kind of field you in? Field? Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children? Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen this type. 
Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. in front of my muse. My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> my muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here! There shall be no failure on my canvas. This one's a real biscuit. Isn't he a biscuit, ladies? I need to ask a few questions. Questions, yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little song. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her. In exchange, all I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to Listen, go. Listen, Cole, you son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Dance with me. Come, come, dance. Come on, dance! Feel the music! Feel the music! I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types like the capital of people like Ryan and Suchon. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Suchon had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! <laughs>
Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... Hey, and Beauty! To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your... young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. What's that? Barry, let's see. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. Comfortable. Keep your eyes open. There seem to be some supplies in the Mr. DeWitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. If it's all the same to you, let's leave it at Mr. DeWitt.
Look up there. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind. <laughs> Goddamn grabber stuck. I want the frosty one. Get me Mr. DeWitt! Someone's no, coming! You accountable! All right, I got the grabber unjammed. You remember me now? Mr. Duet. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. <laughs> you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh, geez, I guess around 51? No, 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. Damn. 
You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. Well, it, it's good for you, you know? I'm never... I heard you back there! You're making... Ammo, take it! Here! That's all I have! Mr. DeWitt, look. Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Good at places any to look for our new friend. Says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Burst pipe. Store sunk a few hundred feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. <sighs> Damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? Turn this with a rake pick. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah. Our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. Say something for Mother. Psst. See 
this. Only... <laughs> are brought in. One of your piece of shit turrets. Bam! Both kneecaps. Now I'm likely a cripple locked in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! Still got it. Don't make me touch you! Look up there. Much obliged. Well, that's an example of a few of you. 
bad eggs ruining it for the rest of us. Raptors are being undermined by a growing number of undesirable types. Where would you put them? A scientist hates competition, but... You know as well as I do, these decisions come from the entire Central Council. If you can't trust the Council, who can you trust? I suppose you're right. But where am I going to shop now? I hear there's a sale at Riot's Boutique. my first play, the Herald said, a dead whale has washed up at the Schubert Theater and stinks a little more with each passing night. <laughs> the Tribune called my first opera as having the effect of canceling out all of Mozart's classics in a single caterwaul. And now Critics take me to task for my humanitarian work. If I were not there to find a home for these orphans, would these belly acres take my place? An artist once said, all critics should be assassinated. I just might take him up on that. Never respected me! and beats your first splice. From there, it's all downhill. The frozen frosties, the jockeys who will hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. They will be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. Nobody around. Once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her Adam. They cut a less sympathetic figure. Short-circuited. Probably be able to pop it open with a... A jolt of shock jockey? You familiar with shock jockey? More than you could know. Well, let's look around. Maybe there's a store ain't been ransacked by splicers yet.
Looks like the plasma department is back there. I'm sure we'd find something useful there. This lock? Oh, this won't take long at all. Done. And it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Why did Ryan lock up all of Fontaine's followers in a department store? He needed somewhere to put Fontaine's button. Why not shut down the competition in the bargain? But I thought Andrew Ryan was all about free markets and open competition. All those ideas lose their luster when the quarterly earnings come in and you find the other guys eating your lunch. Either way, Fontaine's dead. Freezing in here. Something tells me all that cold isn't just coming from the ice rink. Did you give him my message? Fontaine called me in the other day. 
me. Hey, Lord. Says trouble's coming and he's passing out special plasmids to all his best guys. I mean, it's an honor, but man, I started getting these shingles all over. Skin's discolored. Like when a guy's about to lose a limb, you know? And I can't seem to pile on enough clothes. I hate to ask, but is this happening to everybody? Thank me? Next time try ducking. Mr. DeWitt, the plasmid? Have you forgotten what we came for?
Want me to open up that cabinet? Got a lock, needs picking. Sure thing. All done. Damn it, that son of a bitch drank every last bottle of Old Man Winter. I think I can help. What was that? It's a, uh, new plasmid. Let's me... Let's me bring in things that might exist, but, uh, don't. I'm not sure I understand. What's it called? Tear. Where'd you find that? You don't expect a girl to share all her secrets, do you, Mr. DeWitt? Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. gone about far enough without a few answers. My purpose here is none of your concern. Consider me a means to an end. Then why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? I told you I'm in collections. An account is in arrears. My clients simply want to see matters set to right. Don't make any sense, that's all. If you don't like the arrangement, the bathosphere's back that way.
Sally's not your daughter. What's she to you? Why risk life and limb? It's part of the job. You owe me no explanation. She's just another orphan. After Fontaine went down, city was lousy. And? I don't know. You have a reason for every stupid thing you've ever done? She started showing up, looking peaked. More fool me to feed the brat. No, she would have never leave. How did you lose her? It's none of your business. said right. Yes? Wouldn't peg you as the rapture type. Not even a little. If you mean I have no interest in joining the Andrew Ryan book club, you'd be right. Just another set of fanatics with a different set of books. I gamble. What? You asked me how I lost Sally. I gamble. Took her somewhere a kid's got no business being. I was winning. A place like that, you don't let a kid out of your sight. But you did. Yeah, and here we are. But the million dollar question is, what's she to you? I have an interest in reuniting you with her. Isn't that reason enough? Let's hope Colin was on the level when he said this is where we'd find Sally. I can only imagine what they would do with a child in a place like this. Cohen's halfway to Splice Town. Probably thought putting a child in prison would be high art. The sooner we find her, the better. Come on, Sally! Do it! Sally, come out of there. I can't see her. What are you doing? This is a schematic for the venting system. It shows there are more vents like this one in electronics, the bistro, returns, the book department, and the appliance show floor. So? If she's in there, there are only six vents she can come out of. Now there are five. All these vents are connected to the central heating unit. If we close them off and turn the heat up, she'll be forced out through the central exhaust. It's the only exit. You want to burn her alive? No, we just make it hot enough to flush her out. You can't do that. Look, either we find her or one of those splicers. <sighs> All right. Where are the other vents? Up ahead. <laughs> Crack this one open? Looks easy enough. There. Rumor is the tool of Come on, love. Oh, Mickey just wants to give you a little squeeze. <laughs> you don't want to disappoint your old uncle now, do you? You come out of there! There ain't no fear keeping that tasty. <laughs> There's another vent.
two down. Where to now? Number 17, regarding unknown phenomena. Phenomena presents is odd shimmer, through which is observed... What? Men in strange hats. Women in large dresses. Buildings that float. Is phenomena window to other space? Other time? What was it Einstein said? The only reason for time is so not everything happen at once. That's not enough. That giant son of a bitch will walk right through that. What exactly were they trying to keep out of? Something worse than that. What is that be? You'll know it when you see it. Honey! It's bundled up.
Будь. Она. Needs picking. I'll see what I can do. Oh, isn't everything just wonderful? Ready. The food, the band. Even your pants are behaving. <laughs> Over there? Really? You, you see mean it? <laughs> I tried so hard to reduce to fit in. I don't know if she was dangerous or just insane. Next time, I'll be sure to ask. Franklin read quietly in a corner like I did as a child. Careless. Not a single thought to where an accident might leave us. Well, Dr. Wortham prescribed a plasmid. A mother's little helper to keep me sharp. Oh, I've had my misgivings, but I let my guard down for a second. That boy may get himself killed. There's another vent. Close it. Okay, next one.
I closed it. Now I own a check, but I'm telling you, he's closed. Seriously. Yeah. Done. It's around here. One more. Radar range. 
never could figure out if the thing's designed to cook a turkey or a splicer. Damn, Dora's got a key code lock. No way to get in without knowing what it is. All I could think was there are millions of bacteria in each drop of saliva. Did he, did he brush his teeth? What if, what if he touched a doorknob and then put his fingers to his lips? I waited weeks for that kiss. And then ruined. Observation number 17, regarding unknown phenomena. Phenomena presents is odd shimmer, to which is observed... What? Men in strange hats. Women in large dresses. Buildings that float. Is phenomena window to other space? Other time? What was it Einstein said? The only reason for time is so not everything happen at once.
something scheduled. You left me!
Do it. All right. Take your time. I'm fine down here. Hear that? Sally? Sally, it's me, Booker. Now, you come out now. S Sally? Dear, do, do you hear me? It's, it's me, Booker. Now listen, dear. You come out right now! Mr. Dewitt, she's not coming. Now let's get the rest of these vents sealed. It's the only way. That's the last one. Where's the exhaust? In the toy department. Elizabeth, a little help? Seems easy enough. All yours. Over there! You see him? Without the squeeze through. Give me a boost. She told me to stop calling, so I heard the little rat scurrying this way. Good. What's taking so long? I, just, I can't get the... Come on! I'm just... I'm trying... Just give me a second.
into it. Don't seem any worse for wear. Speak for yourself. Observation number 22, regarding unknown phenomena. What is the source of phenomena? Su Chong employ observers. Observer task. Find more phenomena. Observer reports back. Young woman appear from phenomena. And just as soon, Young woman disappear. Observer has nothing else to report on topic. If Su Chan can find this woman, she will make interesting new phenomena. Alright, let me go check the exhaust vent.
sign of her. Looks like we'll need to turn up the thermostat if we're gonna flush her out. It's over that way. We need to head for that thermostat. It's our only option. The thermostat, Mr. DeWitt. Waiting won't make this any easier. The thermostat's right there. Turn the heat up. I'm not going to burn her. It's the only way to bring her to us. If you won't do it, I will. Just give me the word. Turn it up. What? Turn the goddamn thermostat up. Do you hear that? We need to get back to the exhaust before we lose the girl again. Sally! Sally, come out! It isn't working! I told you she's coming! It isn't working! Turn if it we off! turn it off, it's not gonna work. We have to turn it off! We are hurting her! Sally! Sally? Sally, it's Booker. It's me. Sally, come on. I'm gonna get you out of here. Sally! Come out here right now! No, 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 no! Sally. No! She's come to see you. We're going home. Do you want to go home? Please don't fight. Please don't. I'm here. I just want to take you home. I just want to get this off. Get her back. Get her back. You're hurting her. She's got to come with She's me. She's not your child. She is mine. Let her go. Let her go. She's mine. The is closing. Shut it down. Shut down the machine. You've got to pull her. Oh, shut down the machine! No, she's not through! Oh, no. Shut it down! No, 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 get out! I remember. All of it. That poor child. She wasn't yours. Comstock. No, no, no. I wasn't. No, no, no. Yet you had to have me, didn't you? No, this isn't right. And when the guilt no. was too much... You turned to us to solve your problem. To provide a place to go where you might forget. Where there never was an Anna in the first place. Comstock was never one to own up to his errors, was he, brother? Never comfortable with the choices he made. Always seeking someone else's life to claim as his own. Elizabeth. Child. I am so sorry. No, you're not. You're about to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
Ah! 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 Ah!